He was left alone in an apartment for about four or five weeks. I am Yasmin, and this is Milo's story for GOPs. I met Milo in 2021. Kisses. I was fostering at the time, and he happened to be one of the cases that I was given. He was very, very malnourished. And somebody would check in on him maybe once a week and fill up a food bowl for him, but he didn't get any human interaction. No outside time, no walks, really nothing for about four weeks while his owners were trying to figure out maybe a new living situation or something. He was freaked out by people when he was brought to the shelter eventually. We thought he was so strange because he couldn't focus on anything. And I think it was just his way of entertaining himself when he was alone for that long. Hi, donkey. Hi, donkey. When I first met him, he would come up to me, look at me, and then get distracted by something else and then go chase that thing. <laughs> they even brought in a neurologist to check him out, but he came out clear. There was a lot of work that I had to do on my little. And about three months after I fostered him, he was ready for adoption. So I felt like I would be betraying him and betraying the care that he deserves that he could get from me. So I decided that he would stay with me. All he wants to do is play. He's always looking at somebody at all times. And if you make the mistake of looking back and staring a little bit too long, he's gonna go grab his toy right away and bring it to you. So he, this is his, he's like very, very obsessed with the toy. He's so funny, it makes me laugh all the time. He has such a distinct appearance. He looks like a pink and gray cow with light eyes. We feed him on a schedule and he's selective. He doesn't like fruits, he doesn't like vegetables. He actively hates those things. He wants to be touching constantly. If I like reach down, I can always find him. As long as I'm nearby, he's happy. Good boy. We're very, very connected. Even just the difference in the tone of my voice, he can tell. Like if I really need him to behave, he does take a while to warm up to people just because he hasn't had the best experiences with people. He's not the biggest fan of men. He's always listening to things. He likes to look out the window. He does snore, but I think I do too. So I mean, we might cancel each other out. Just seeing him brings me so much joy. If I don't hear the little pitter patter of his feet behind me, then I'm like, wait, where's my look? <laughs> I'm really grateful that he gave me a shot. 